Welcome back to the HTML Crash Course guys. In this video I'm going to introduce you to forms and we're going to go over the structure of how they work and uh, what attributes we need. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is uh, set up a link to another page. We're going to call it the forms page guys this time. So forms page. Go to forms. Okay, is a label and uh, it's going to be called forms.html. So um, press com command and N. Let's save this one as forms.html. All right, and I'm just going to copy the entire structure of my about page to the forms page. Uh, this is the forms page. Okay, so uh, how do we set up a form? Well, we need a, a new tag. It's called form, so let's go and put that in already. Let's close it as well. So uh, this is our form, guys. We're going to make a form within the form tags. Um, now we need two attributes to to put into the form tag, all right? The first one is called method, all right, and another one's called action. Okay, so method and action. Uh, let's go for action first. Action is uh, the 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 file we're going to send the form data to, all right? So uh, the, our users on our web page are going to fill in this form, whether it be text boxes or check boxes, radios, etc., etc. We'll go through all the form. Uh, input methods on the, in the next video but um just to let you guys know okay so the action is the f the file we're going to send all the data to once the user submits the form all right so we can put anything in here we can put form underscore submitted dot html html <laughs> all right so uh, again when the user submits the form all the data is going to be sent to this url all right so that's how it works so that's why we need the action attribute all right so method what is method well um Method is the way the data gets sent out, and there's two options, guys. There's get and post. All right, we can put get in here, or we can do it in capital letters, guys. Doesn't really matter. Um, and the way get works is get stores all the form data and puts it at the end of the H of the URL. Okay, so uh, on the next page is going to be form submitted .html, and then on the end of this link, there's going to be a bunch of variables that store all the data we're going to send in this form. All right, so that's one way of sending the data to the web page. Okay, so get is or, get is good. I'll use it for search results. If and it's really handy for bookmarking particular search results, guys. Remember. So, uh, for example, if I search for clothes, maybe I want to type in the 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 color of the clothing, the type of clothing, you know, the size. And after I submit all this data on the next web page, the relevant search results are going to show. Okay. And then I could bookmark the web page of all the data in the URL. Okay, so that's get. The next one, guys, is post. And now post submits data invisibly through um, through the server. So we won't see the the variables on the end of the URL this time. Like get using post is uh, is way more secure. Okay, use it for um, passwords, logging in with the username and password. If you want to send sensitive sensitive data through web pages use post all right so um these are the two attributes you should be aware of guys method and action all right maybe you should put action before that would make more sense to be honest so uh, let's do that all right so uh, remember these guys action and method um all right so the last thing i want to touch on in this video is how to submit a form and to do that we use a new tag it's called input we go, we're going to use input for a lot of things, uh, text boxes for example and radios and other things um, but in this case we're going to give it a type, okay? the type attribute, we're going to call it submit All right. the, the, the submit type of the input is the button uh, of, the, of the form we're going to submit All right. so type submit and the other thing we need to do is give it a value okay? so the text in the button is going to be, I don't know, submit now Alright guys, and like the BR tag, the line break, like the images, we close the tag in the first in the first block, alright? So the forward slash after the first block. Let's save this out and um, let's refresh our page, go to the forms page, and uh, as you can see guys, all we can see is a button, we've, called, we've uh, put a value in it, submit now, we can see it in there, and it's of type submit, okay? So this is the basic structure of a form. In the next video, I'm going to go through each type of uh, form element. So all the input types we can use in forms. All right, and then we're going to go through tables. So that's a way to structure your uh, your web pages. Um, 
So um, just to show you guys, um, in the next video we're going to be changing our input type. So if I put text, OK, and refresh, it's now a text box. And it's as simple as that. We're just going to change the type and give it a name and stuff. And There's a few input types that use their own tag. For example, the text area, which we'll put in the description and stuff. Um, but anyway, let's go through it in the next video. OK, so submit. Make a note of the action and method, guys. And uh, remember, post or get. If we use get, all the data will be stored in the URL of the of the submitted page, and the action is the actual page we're going to submit the data to. All right, so simple as that. So um, that's the structural forms. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video.